right. In 2009, the first established cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, was made available to the public to mine. A year later, someone decided to trade 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas. At today's current price of $9,000, the transaction will be worth $90 million. By 2020, the technology behind initial cryptocurrency has been used to develop other digital coins and is currently being used to revolutionize the digital industry world by providing secure, flexible, and efficient ways to transfer money and information to many industries across the world. If industries such as healthcare and even government continue to overlook the benefits of blockchain technology, we are allowing wasteful and disorganized practices to continue that are constant use, not only monetarily, but with our lives. News of data breaches are almost a daily occurrence. <clears throat> Stealing our health information and banking information stored within these systems. The hackers are holding the healthcare organization hostage by locking up the computer systems until the organizations pay a ransom. <clears throat> in in uh, Roy Toon's article published in May 2012, 2000, May 12, 2017, for hospitals and dozens of other healthcare systems, fac facilities had turned away patients due to a ransom attack that affects the state-run health system in Britain. For my persuasive speech today, I want to discuss the problem with the current opinion of cryptocurrency, what caused this and what we really should know about cryptocurrency and its blockchain technology, and show that it is something people should take seriously instead of thinking of as neg for negative purposes. Back to what I was saying earlier about how safe it is to transfer data is why at one point it was the, the main way to transfer illegal funds because it is virtually impossible to hack into and trace where it, where it's going. Cryptocurrency has been given a bad rep and this needs to change. The majority of public think cryptocurrency is illegal. This is a true story I experienced. I went to a local bank to open up a business account. The bank employee asked me what type of business I had. I told him I had several mining rigs which are basically producing a Bitcoin-like cryptocurrency. He refused to open up the account because he believed I was doing something illegal to get money. Let me make this clear. Cryptocurrency is not illegal and I believe in the future it will be the main way to transfer money and data. Just like credit cards when they first came out, people didn't trust and didn't trust and once people realized how much safer crypto is to transfer, I believe it will take over the way people do business. Cryptocurrency has been related to the dark web, but we, but not many people know anything about the technology that's created and is used in everyday mining. Many years ago, Bitcoin became a, a payment for illegal activity, but it, it is still to some extent, but if a criminal can figure out a way to manipulate the system, they will with anything. Much of the black market dark web activity has declined due to several marketplace seizures by the government agencies and has almost put it to an end. Cryptocurrency is <clears throat> created by using blockchain technology. It is basically computers all over the world performing and recording transactions based on cryptographic technology. The system is distributed is a distributed system so there is no central authority to attack. And because of how the information is stored by linking these transactions, the information can only be accessed to the owner of the data. One type of computer system that can perform these transactions is called a mining rig. It is basically a regular computer but with several graphics card connected to it, like the graphics card in a gaming computer, and the owner of the computer has no access to this information. In addition to providing digital currency that can be traded worldwide, blockchain technology is the future of decentralized and data custody. We need to support companies that accept cryptocurrency as payment. Large companies like Microsoft has accepted Bitcoin since 2014. Overstop.com accepts multiple kinds of cryptocurrency and also my favorite dominoes. Also, we need to encourage healthcare systems to adopt blockchain-based technologies to keep our personal information safe. The Department of Health and Human Services even believe in it. 
They held a challenge where over 70 white pages were submitted. The subject was the use of blockchain in health IT and health related research. One of the winners was prestigious Deloitte. Their, their white paper is about using blockchain and is a new model for health information exchange. exchange. So cryptocurrency was given a bad rep due to a few bad apples, but the technology behind it is the future of data security. Only two months ago, on January 14, 2020, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST for short, a division within the U.S. Department of Commerce published a white paper which highlighted the benefits of blockchain-based management system. The NIST states that blockchain technology has the potential to alleviate many concerns related to authentication and authorization management and data sharing on the internet within organizations. The NIST believes blockchain management systems will be valuable to both individual users and businesses. Because of the importance, the NIST developing work categories based on the architects and government models, blockchain technology is available today. Governments and industries need to put it to use and invest in the future.